Problem for Guys, that. I got a call to make, yeah. uh, and this will not surprise most political observers. Heidi Heitkamp, the Democratic incumbent, goes down in a deep red state, yeah. North Dakota. Kevin Creamer, the congressman, is will prevail there, and of That's course, a bigger deal than just uh, one Senate seat, Savannah. Well, control. Tell us, Chuck. That's Tell number us. fifty. Okay, number fifty for That's the Republicans. Number 50 they for get the it Republicans. back. Yes. They will retain control. It's official, even if they lose the rest of the races on the board here. As you can see, whether it's Texas, Arizona, Nevada, they could lose all six of those could go Democratic. And at this point, you would see that Republicans retain because of Mike Pence. 50 so. and the vice president gets the deciding vote. Indiana, North, uh, North Dakota. So the red and states Heidi uh, delivered. She won by 6,000 votes, a lot of them Native Americans last time. Huge controversy over the way the Native Americans were ha having you know, all kinds of ballot and difficulties. And her vote on Kavanaugh, I didn't know. Ideas. And the vote on Kavanaugh was absolutely determined. She's one of the most powerful, I think, a certain kind of human story. I spent some time with her just a couple weeks ago. And, you know, she is one of the rare, rare whatever you want to say about her, she knew that the vote she was going to take on Judge Kavanaugh was likely going to cost her this seat. It was, she was already a little bit behind in that race. She stared it down and she said, I, I got to go this way. She made a vote of conscience that was against her own political interest. Again, whatever you think about the merits of the vote, she knew that was the hill that she was likely to die on and she took the vote anyway. She was also hurt by a real mess up by her team after the Kavanaugh vote where they unfortunately disclosed yep. and outed a woman who had had uh, several. Uh, uh, several women, several several. women in fact, yeah. who had had been sexually attacked which went right against what Hyde Kemp was said was her vote of principle. And she needed that Native American vote, and there was that controversy over whether or not uh, a new voter ID law was in they effect never suppressing the vote of Native Americans. I'm struck by the numbers behind us, Savannah. Remember we said 23 and 2. This is a case where 23 was lower than 2. Yes. Guess what? Now the Senate number went up to right. 4, right? We've been having a count up. So Democrats now need to find They're 4. They have Mississippi runoffs and all this stuff. The point is... The number went up. That yeah. tells you what the I'll, I'll, I'll say this, though, quickly. You know, the, 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 I, again, when I was out there, we went and looked at the, went out to Standing Rock. The, the, the issue around voter suppression and voter ID in North Dakota is a really serious one. And th there were significant questions to ask about whether that law is unfair and discriminatory. However, the, the margin in that race... It wouldn't really matter. There, she's, she got clobbered in that race, and there's not enough, at least historically, there's not enough Native American vote Good. under any circumstance to have made up voted. that margin that she just lost by. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.